pour nous après la vie, à mes poètes, à mes frères, je être avoir moi, je peux être à vous par les peines de valeur de Dieu. Voir mon nom, par mon Instagram, Epic Bar. Je love music, it's one of the things that help me life. I love movies too, and I play a lot of games. I also love football. I'm a Manchester United fan. I'm from Lagos State. I was born in Lagos on Valentine's Day, February 14. I grew up with my mom and two siblings. I have an older brother and a younger sister. They are both right out too. So growing up wasn't easy. I was mostly on my own because I was a loner. I had this inferiority complex. So I didn't relate much with people. I didn't have friends because most of the kids made fun of me because of my brown teeth. But for a while, it really affected me because I don't socialize at all. But I learned self-acceptance and I realized that I couldn't really, there are some things about yourself you can't change, then you learn to accept them. And since I did that, everything has changed for me. Because it was like I became an person entirely and my life has turned around. I have friends, I go out, speak to people, and I realized that I've just been the one holding myself back. Aside writing, I'm an auditor. That's my day job. But I studied accounting in the University of Lagos. Um, I'm also a graphic designer and also a creator. You can check out our designs on Vibe Designs on Instagram, Vibe underscore design. We make custom made wears, t-shirts, joggers, crop tops, basket jackets, hoodies, sweatshirts, anything you need. Just check Vibe underscore designs on Instagram. Our designs are quite exclusive and I'm sure they are going to blow your mind. I started writing in 2015. Before then, majorly what I do is I just collect some lyrics from different writers and I just mix them up. But I wrote my first piece, Legendary Epic, in 2015. It was actually a letter to myself. And since then, I've written quite a number of points, over 400. I've done a couple of collabs with some writers on Instagram because Instagram has been a platform that has actually helped me. I've met a lot of awesome writers through Instagram, like big, big talents out there. And also, I think in 2016, I joined Poem Hunters. It's a website for writers. All you have to do is just sign up. That's what actually helped me grow my writing skills because I read a lot of points from different writers and it changed my perspective, the way I write and it helped me improve. So if you Google Valerian points, most of my points are going to pop up. So aside that, I wrote a series, One Night Stand, and it's one of my best write-ups ever, even though I prefer short points because most times I just do it's nine points and octave. Yeah, that's my major writing style. Not, not really, because I just see writing as a way of expressing myself. It's just something that makes me happy. Writing for me comes easy because I get inspiration from a lot of things from the smell, from the word, from the song, a movie. So the word just practically comes to me. And that I write most of my favorite poems. Like I just sit down then the word just flows. 
but when I'm writing from a prompt or a particular topic, all I have to do is just picture what I want to write about. If I can picture the story or the scenario, then it's easy for me because the words just come in to feel. It's like when you are painting a picture and you have a drawing already, so all you have to do is fill it with colors. So that's how writing is for me. But my favorite part about my writers are the art. I searching for the picture or image or the art to go along with the poetry is always fun because you have to use a picture that actually even explain the poetry more or just show a side of the poetry that you didn't mention. So it's always an important part for Uh, I see writing as an outlet for emotions. Then I also see writing as a means of touching people's hearts because most times it's about your audience. You might not even know who your audience will be. Your audience might not even be born. It might be someone that is born in 10 years, 20 years, who just sees your writings and reads it and actually feels it. Because it's all about the feeling, being able to relate to the writer, being able to relate to the piece. Yes, I have two published audio books, thanks to Mr. Phone Books. The first one is Stereo Art, and the other one is One Night Stand Stereo. But I plan on getting my poetry published as ebook or paperback exactly the way I designed them on my Instagram page. My biggest writing influence is my brother because he's a writer too. So I grew up reading a lot of his poetry and he's really good. He's known as Jazz Send Seven on Instagram. My favorite writer is Nora Roberts. She's way on top of my list. I love all our work. I also like Brand Jaffrey. He's the author of Red War. I like Wally Shinika, Quest Olu on Instagram because he's really, really good. Then also on Things Fly on Instagram too. There are a lot of writers that I'm really really feeling their vibe right now. Most of them are on Instagram because it's like Instagram has become a major platform for writers to just showcase their work and express themselves out there. So I have a lot of people that I'm really, really feeling their vibe right now. Like Maroni, notes from him, especially notes from him, like we have written some words together and that are some of my best colors. Then there is Ava, Olua Tony, Eve, Fully Show Me, and several other writers out there on Instagram. They are really, really good. I mainly read historical books or books on discovery. And I read a bit of novels too. Mostly no Robert novel or any novel that is just like an epic adventure or action. Well the craziest thing I've ever done, that would be walking home at 3 a.m. from a night duty. Just because I didn't want to waste the money to walk home with her. But well, I don't have a favorite musician. I listen to a very very wide range of musicians and they are all good in their own way. But with the top of my list I have Jeko, there's John Bellion, there's Ennis, Eminem, Lewin, Drake. These guys are really good. I can listen to their songs all day. Louis Capaldi, Adele, Simi, Johnny Dre. Like because my type of music is 
any music that has a really, really good lyrics. Because that's the important part for me. I'm more into lyrics than beats. Well, my favorite song is Tequila by Dan and Shea. It's a country song because country songs are the best music. Well, my favorite TV show, it has to be original. I like my all-time favorite. But I also love Lucifer. Like, that's one of the best TV series ever made. Mm, my favorite color is black and yellow. Well, the important thing is to be yourself. Create your own way of writing. Create your own genre. Let your own uniqueness be known. Don't you don't have to just copy this person because it's okay. Everybody is reading this person's poem. You can actually learn from that person, then add it to what you already have because everybody is unique in their own way of writing. So that is the most important part. Be yourself and also never think you are not good enough or your write-up is not good enough because what you think is not good enough people might read it out there and be like wow this is great so that is also important don't have self-doubt about your writing yeah definitely writing is therapeutic because writing helps you let out emotions whatever you are feeling even when you can't tell it to another person, when you write, you actually find out that you feel better. And that's talking from a writer's perspective. But in relation to being an audience, writing is actually a therapy to your audience because when they read your work, it can actually relate to what they are going through at that moment. It might be what somebody actually needs to hear. At that moment, someone can just read your face and be like, wow, this person really gets me. How do you know this is what I'm going through right now? So writing is therapeutic. It reaches out to people. It brings out the emotions. It helps people to just communicate. And I don't know, it might not feel better at that moment, but the time you should do. Well, growing up, it has been my mom, I and my siblings. My dad moved away when I was young, about five years old. So since then, it has always been my mom taking care of us, providing everything we actually need. She does her best out of the little she has to give us the best. So I lost my mom in 2016. In like one of the most painful experiences of my life and since then everything i do i try to honor our memory so that's why everything i do is dedicated to my mother well mrs phone book offers a platform to writers especially people that are aspiring people that are not yet published to actually get their work out there for people to see their talent and that's one of the best things that anyone can offer a writer a means to communicate what they have to the world so Mr. Fong Booth is doing a very very great job with that and I'll be continuing to do that My shout out goes to every writer out there putting in the world and also to everyone that reads my poetry, thank you. Then also to Mr. Fumbles for offering me this platform. And also to my best friend, Fully Show Me One on IG, he helped me with this video. And Eve, she's an upcoming writer and she has been doing good. And also to my family, my brother and my younger sister, Joas on the seven and follow that on Instagram. Thank you, God bless you.